I'm Scott Al Miller. It's the 7th of January, 2023, and welcome to my vlog of daily life in Leon, Nicaragua. Today, I am finally, I know you guys have been waiting for this, I'm finally getting back out and doing a barrio walk and showing some more of the city. And I'm going to an area that we've never shown before, or to be accurate, I've never shown the neighborhood before. I have actually shown houses in the neighborhood because Alan was looking at houses for rent at one point, and we did look in this neighborhood. Uh, but we didn't show anything except the house, and even that we showed very little of. This is the uh, Residencia of Los Altos de Veracruz. It is a, one of the biggest residencias in the city. Uh, so, so lots of streets, lots, it's big. And we're on the far western side of Sutiava. So I'm going to turn around real quick and show. This is the entrance to Los Altos. Yes, it's in terrible shape. That should be a big, beautiful sign up there, and it is not. I don't know why they haven't. Uh, that could really improve it a lot for visibility, uh, but it is an older residencia and people in the city all know where it is and it's, uh, it's very desirable. I'm gonna take, give you a shot down the street here. That is the bus stop right down there. And uh, you can kind of see the signs for some things there and some empty space. And then we have these beautiful houses and this kind of boulevard entrance. And we are just gonna head in. That is the egg delivery right there. And we are going to go for a walk. I know you guys have been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this. And my foot is not all better, but it is not doing too badly. I'm going to turn around real quickly and show you. This is There is a guardhouse. This is meant to be gated. But uh, as far as I know, they don't actually close it up and guard it anymore. Um, simply because a lot of the houses are for sale. A lot are abandoned. Um, and uh, there's a, it's, it's a very desirable neighborhood. So there's a lot of people living in here. It's a good-sized community. But there's also a lot available. And this one is a perfect perfect example of a small uh, model house that is for sale. This is probably the original house here in the neighborhood when they were setting it up. 74 meters is very small, but for someone looking for a nice starter home or a nice little place in the city that, that doesn't use a lot of space, this could be a great, great location. I have no idea what the inside is like, so I can't, can't really speak to it, but I'm going to go for a walk. So this part of the residencia, this is now remember, this is in the Barrio Sutiava, which we've shown a lot of Sutiava in the past, but we've done a lot more of the traditional barrio. This is outside of what's generally considered the barrio and is actually just Sutiava proper or greater Sutiava. Uh, it's inside the legal boundaries of Sutiava, but not what Google Maps and most people consider to be the barrio. All right. Now this area, this, these houses on the left, this is gorgeous. I like the style of the house. I like the stonework that they did. I love this fence uh, and all that stuff. Like this is really, really quite cool. And this place on the right, very beautiful too. Well manicured. Now these are not, I assume giant homes, but this is a, this is an affluent area for people who want to live outside the city center. And uh, I feel like the styles here of the yards, the style of the houses, kind of gives me a feeling of suburban Managua. So you're getting, I think, um, you know, you're going to tend towards very educated uh, people living out here, working professionals, uh, older, you're not, not so much starter homes. Things tend to be well kept for the most part. Economic times have certainly hit hard. This house is enormous um, and you get a lot of cool styles. So I love this neighborhood and a lot of it, uh, it's very clear that these were being built uh, early on did well and before many of them were built um, the hard economic times came so this is uh, not that old of a residencia and so there's a lot of open lots if you're actually looking to simply buy an empty lot and to build yourself you can join this community really easily for for I assume very low cost this is another style I, this place is so cute and now I've not been through a lot of this I've been through quite a bit uh, up here because we have looked at houses in the past, but there's a lot I haven't seen or we just drive by and uh, I get very little chance to see them. Um, this is this is a great neighborhood. I like it a lot. I would be absolutely happy living in this area. And I've uh, looked at house rentals up here um, and been very interested in them in the past. Some of the some of the best finds that we have had while out looking at rentals were in this neighborhood. This place has a beautiful, beautiful metalwork fence here. That's absolutely gorgeous. And that is a high electric fence above it. So the fencing that protects you goes really high, but you get a lot of visibility and air. Um, it is unfortunate that it goes to dirt roads in here. Not a big deal. It's not like you need it to be paved or anything, but I think, 
I think it would look a lot nicer. And I think in the future they probably will. But for example, here's an empty lot. There's right in the middle of beautiful developed Los Altos, we have things that have never been developed. So, um, you know, potentially a great opportunity anywhere here to be in a really great uh, community. And you can see they've got the, the nice trash cans. They have trees that are going to be gorgeous in the future. So this is totally my type of Nicaragua living. This is, this is the kind of spot I'd be very, very happy as a long, long-term uh, resident to be, to be a part of. So today is the seventh while we're walking. I'm trying to combine. I don't want to do just a straight walk. I really don't know much about Los Altos. I'm just kind of marveling at how beautiful it all is. And I have no idea what this is on the left. This looks like probably open lot that someone could build on. It needs to be completely cleared. And there's some houses that are, you know, certainly less exciting all kinds of stuff oh corner lot well here dog there's definitely people there there is a corner lot that's for sale very nice that's now this one i feel like i've seen before uh what a what a beautiful corner spot that could be that could be a very large modern house could fit there quite nicely with a lot of open air around it uh, so today is Saturday. We started off the day as we often do. Now that we have the space, we love, oh, another, another big open corner lot here. Wow, so much opportunity. Seriously, if you're looking at, at moving to Leon, if you're really looking at wanting to be part of a, like high-end, high-quality Nicaragua life, this is a, a kind of hidden gem and it's really close to the beach. It's something like 12 minutes from here to the sand. Uh, so this is, um, if you're looking at a map, it's Los Altos de Veracruz in Sutiava, which is basically the last major road in what you could really consider the, the city of Leon. And it's really the Sutiava portion of the city of Leon. And oh, a lot of dogs here, a lot of cute dogs hiding behind these fences. I hope the sun doesn't bloom out too much to make them there's like three looking at me right now. I love this garden in here. Really, really nice. Oh, oh, they're hanging out together. Uh, and so this area, you get a really nice blend of being in the city. You can get delivery from the city, Ugo, Peritos, Ja, that kind of stuff. So you can easily get Subway, Pizza Hut, you know, all, Sua, all the restaurants in the city delivered out to here. Um, you, it's easy to drive into the city or relatively easy to get a taxi from here. Not, not the best, but you can do it. Um, certainly, certainly has its challenges at times. And uh, just moving over here so we can get a better look at some of these, these houses. Really, really nice. Beautiful upstairs on that. That'd be a great place to sit and enjoy uh, drinks on the terrace. Kind of European style living there. And uh, But if you want to head to the beach, you can just jump in the car and be there in just a few minutes. This gives a really nice blend if you're not looking to spend your time going into deeper Nicaragua. If you want to spend your time driving to, say, Managua or Chinandega or Granada, then these are located across Leon from, from the main road going out. So every trip would have at least an additional 10 or 15 minutes. That's not ideal. But if you really want to be in Leon living and utilizing the beach, this location is actually one of the best in the city. So now this says private property. It doesn't say it's available, but it sure gives the feeling like if you made an offer, someone would sell it to you. Not everything here is great. There's some stuff that's older and falling down and uh, in bad repair. So, but most likely these are for sale. You can see it says for sale on it. So this is really just a gated lot. Um, at some point it was something, but would be great opportunity uh, for building. I don't think there's anything really. We'll try to get a little video. Yeah, you can see there's just trees in there. You would just clear that out and uh, be able to build there probably the same up here as well. And I would guess this empty lot over here. So of course the, the locations up here are going to vary in price significantly, but because this is an unfinished development, there isn't a really high competition for the space. Got a cute dog waiting up there for me to come, come up and see him. Not sure what's up around this corner. This kind of looks like it'd be a road, but you couldn't really drive a car up here. And uh, so because the competition is low, because there are empty lots and you could build new, 
and because the economic times have hit hard, uh, there is a lot of availability up here. When times are good, this is an extremely desirable neighborhood and people will compete to get in and prices uh, will go way up. But for now, it is an area that has been hit pretty hard. The outer lying areas, especially like Sutiava, really do take more of a hit than other regions of the city when uh, when the economy is tough. So this is uh, this is an area that right now I think has an extreme level um, of opportunity. And it's funny, I've only walked up maybe 10 meters at most, but I already have a better view of the mountains over there and I can see some of the mountains up over there. That's why it's called Los Altos. It's, it's not very high at all, but it is technically higher than the stuff around. And I did just step on a, on a weed and it's caught between my toes, driving me crazy. All right. We're gonna head down this road up here and just see what we can explore right after I fix my, my shoe. Okay, we're back. Now, this morning, uh, as we like to do, now that we have the veranda, we really like to go sit outside and enjoy our garden. That is what we were planning on when we got the house, and for once, we actually do what we plan on uh, with our house. We always say, oh, this is gonna be purpose, perf perfect for sitting out on the road and watching traffic, and then we don't wanna do that because it's way too public, or there isn't quite enough space, or it's too warm. And in our last house, we found that the place we like to sit didn't have a lot of airflow, and it was a little bit too warm for us. So even though we did it, it was always a little bit warmer than we wanted to be and now we're finding that sitting out on the veranda is absolutely perfect and we love it so much uh, and so every morning that's what we do what is are this and so we head out and sit on the veranda and let the dogs run around the gardens while we watch until they get so exhausted that they pass out under our chairs and we drink coffee. And this morning, Alan came by on his motorcycle uh, and hung out for a little while. He was running errands around town and picking up the deliveries that we made for him from the United States. Uh, so we got to see him for the first time since we've been back. So it's been like a month since we've seen him in person. Uh, so we had a nice time hanging out for a little while. Uh, Anna was busy this morning, so we didn't get to see her. This is a cute place all in green here. I'm tripping on rocks. I'm just, just happen to be slipping one rock after another. I'm gonna fall over if I'm not careful. And uh, I think this is a house, but it definitely gives the feeling of a tiny church. I think it's just a style, but it could be a church. It could be going to be a church, but I think it's a house with a church architecture and a big open lot over here. I'm sure this is multiple lots, but that should be made into a little community park. That would be perfect. This is a beautiful street that I'm walking down. It's actually, I don't know how well it'll come out in the video to tell what it feels like, but it, this really does not feel like Nicaragua at all. This feels like an autumn stroll in like central New York. Uh, it's pretty, other than it's quite warm, but it's not unbearably warm. It's, it's a warm, comfortable, um, but, uh, but the, the look and feel of this particular spot is very, very quiet, very outside outskirts of, of Syracuse in, in late September, early October kind of, kind of feel until you see the, the tropical plants along the sides here and there. Um, so after, uh, after Alan took off this morning, um, I had to get out to the beach. I've got some uh, of can channel friends who, are, who have been looking for me for some time and I've been so busy, I have not been able to go see them. So I headed out to the beach to hang out for a while early this afternoon and did that. Um, had a really nice time, talked to business and, and opportunities in Nicaragua and what life is like here and helping to explain a bunch of just what things are like here. This is a cute little path with a cute little tree. I could totally see this uh, being something in the woods near where I grew up, uh, but it needs like more of a table. Like imagine that little uh, uh, cil uh, cinder blocks there being a tiny picnic table and you've got a great little country spot to sit and eat, but I don't think that's what they're intending. You can see the backside, there's some really nice modern houses in here. And you get a nice mix. I think you have a really nice community here in Los Altos. It's, it's just consistently uh, really good. Now this evening, uh, we had plans um, all day, uh, or all week I should say, uh, to go out this evening in Leon because uh, our friend Franklin is playing at Food Rock, which we really like to go to. Uh, Y 
nos dio a la mujer más bonita para que pueda adorar mi región. Eso te daba la indígena joya, donde el león se acostumbra a cambiar. Y las playas de su pobre son como un cielo perdido junto al mar. No quiero con amor profundo Es el cerebro de toda mi nación De un pez right in the middle of town, just on the north side of the convent. Uh, so we went out, um, I had to leave the beach and, and just like the other day, it took so many hours to get a taxi. Getting one to leave the beach today was pretty challenging too. So we were a little bit late getting out to Food Rock uh, and we had to stop by the house for a little bit as we were running errands, but we did get there after he had just started a little bit um, and we were hanging out, uh, Dominica and I and Marcella and Paul and uh, Franklin and Carlito uh, all hanging out. Um, and then Franklin was the one performing, so he would hang out with us at our table and then go play. This is, this is a crazy beautiful house I'm walking past, by the way. I don't know if you can tell, but I went from, from very wild, just up there, I gotta make sure I can point. So it's very wild, and then this went to a beautiful manicured sidewalk and this garden all along this really beautifully designed and well-kept house. So has some Christmas decorations up. I like the colors, I like the style, I like the, the way this garden is, it's really excellent. And there's people in there, so I don't wanna bug them too much. There is a security building across the road that watches the house and a good sized garage over here. I love this little window in the... All right, we have no idea where we are because the camera died because uh, it was too hot. And so I don't know how much I said about the day. So where I left off and what I was saying um, is that hopefully I got some of these beautiful spots on the video. I hope it didn't turn off too long ago, but I didn't hear it shutting off. Uh, Dominica and April went out and um, uh, went to see Franklin play jazz at Via Via and everyone else headed home to go to bed. My evening ended up being really crazy because by the time I got to bed, I did go home and, and relax for a little while. I put on the second Harry Potter movie and uh, started watching that. I'm just going to show down the road a little bit there. And then over this way, this is the way we're going to head. And again, this is weird. Now we're back to having a paved road. Like, I, I can't quite decide whether it's going to be paved or unpaved. It's all over the place. And this used to be a basketball court. Like, what, what happened there? Where'd it go? Um, I, I'm going to be sad that a lot of really great video of this neighborhood is missing from this video because it overheated. And I have no idea how much I missed. But I think my favorite house in the whole place got missed, which is going to make me very sad. <sighs> and I hope I don't have to tell about my whole day again. <laughs> The GoPro 11 overheats so much faster than the GoPro 9. Now, to be fair, it's got a bigger processor and it's doing 5.3K video instead of 4K video. I get it, but wow, it overheats fast and causes a lot of problems for me in how I'm able to film. That is very, very, very frustrating. Beautiful houses starting again here. And it's funny that it's like there's brush and then there's immediately really nice homes right up next to each other. But that's just part of part of the Nicaragua experience, but lots of opportunity to live in a great neighborhood here. Absolutely. And uh, I'm going to show we've got another empty lot here. Is it available? I don't know, but it certainly has the opportunity to be available. And this is, I'm pretty sure, an orthopedic uh, 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 medical office. A lot of times people have offices in their homes. What a beautiful place that is really well done and this all of these i'm consistently impressed with los altos and its architecture and layout and little community somewhere in here there are pulperias but i don't know where one is i know if i walk around long enough i'll come across one buenas tardes so i watched the second uh uh, Fantastic Beast movie, which I have seen, but it's been some time and I've only seen it once, so I didn't remember it all that well. Uh, I watched that this evening, and then when that was done, I attempted to go to bed, but as soon as I was in bed, and uh, oh, another, another, I think, lot that's probably available. Uh, as soon as I laid down and attempted to go to bed, um, Alan. 
and the GoPro overheated right as I was about to finish up telling you about my day. All right, so Alan and I uh, got called at about one o'clock in the morning. I had gone to bed, had only been in bed for a few minutes, hadn't fallen asleep yet, and our customer in Qatar was like, oh, we're having a problem, we really need some help, and so we ended up jumping in and worked it for five hours together all through the night uh, and didn't go to bed until just before six o'clock in the morning. So that was a really long, exhausting day, and that was the last thing I was gonna tell you about. Uh, I went back, I uploaded all the videos. So just to give you a feel, I had to record as much as I could with this camera in the morning. This is the GoPro 11, after it overheated all that. Plugged it in, let it upload all day, because I did that in the morning. And what, right after it finished uh, filming, a wasp flew and bit me, or bit me, stung me on the backside of my right knee. I was not very happy about that. I'm not allergic or anything, so it just, just hurt. And I was like, what? Why? Uh, as I was walking down the street, right, right after the camera had, had ended there. Um, so, uh, this, so I plugged it in, let it upload all day. Then in the afternoon, I did all my filming on the GoPro 9. And then when this one finished, which was in the evening, then I plugged in the 9, let it go through the night. Like, it is such a project to get the uploads done on our current uh, internet. We do have a second connection on order. Fingers crossed that that's going to go well. And then we're going to have two because we really use so much. So our plan is to have one just for my office and one for the house so that we can have everybody doing their normal stuff during the day on Claro and my office just on Teco. And that'll give us a little bit more flexibility and a lot more bandwidth, like a lot, a lot more, more than double. Um, with better ping times and all that. So uh, that was that was pretty much the day. I did, I went back, I watched all the videos. There was very little that was actually missed. There's a little bit of showing you my favorite house that we did lose, but don't worry, I'm gonna go up and film that all again. I'm gonna get a lot in Los Altos. That was just a taste of what Los Altos looks like. Um, there's a lot of different streets, a lot of different parts to it. Some areas are newer and older, and I love that area, and I've been wanting to get a lot of that for you guys for some time. Um, so I'm gonna make an effort uh, to do that. And and some other areas that are um, here on the more on the west side of the city, uh, I think that there's a lot that you guys are going to really enjoy. And this is a part of the city that no one shows, right? Basically, these are the only videos ever from these neighborhoods uh, that I'm aware of. And that makes it really cool, right, that we're getting something unique. It's not just like, yeah, of course people want to see Leon. Of course you want to see El Centro and stuff like that. But we're going to add a, just more and more of these like really unique, no tourists, no foreigners ever come here. I don't know of a single expat that has ever been in Los Altos. Like that is just not a thing. I'm sure someone has, but it's just not much of a thing. And so these, these give you a real feel for what things are like. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe. If you'd like to support the channel, you can buy me a coffee. It comes directly to me, makes a huge difference. It's basically like Patreon. And uh, as always, share on social media, tell your friends about the show. So thankful for everyone who has been uh, joining. We've got really good growth on, on users. Our views are way up. And uh, a couple long episodes have come out recently. Hopefully those help. And uh, really, these new, getting back to the Barrio and Colonia and Residencia walks, you know, showing more of the city. And then my foot really, it feels fine after having done that walk. Uh, I'm going to be getting these out far more often and get lots of new uh, content for you guys that, that you guys really enjoy. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you all tomorrow.